Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Here it is. This is my MPEG Jet. Oh boy, we're upside down. Here it is, my 1959 or 60 MPEG Jet. Pretty much all original, except for I put a polarized two prong cord on it because um, when it's plugged in the right way, um, there's no voltage across the chassis, so I didn't see, feel the need to replace it with a three prong cord when everything is all fine. But things were not good when you plugged it in backwards, as is typical with most vintage tube amps. So. Um, let's have a look behind her. Here's Mowgli. Okay, let's see what we have here. So on top you'll see uh, two inputs. Um, one's just attenuated a little bit. This is nice for a little bit of extra dirt. Um, and then just volume, tone, tremolo, speed. Um, and the on, not on switch here. Yep, we have the original Jensen speaker, which the date matches. Whoa, oops. Date matches, it was made, I think, a couple months before the rest of the amp. So it was made in 59. And if we look at the tubes here, we have a pair of 6L7s. And six V6 GTs and a 5Y3 rectifier over there. Big old filter cap. And it's pretty simple. And if you look in here, it has the tube chart. Mm, let me open her up. Take off the back door. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to pause it because I couldn't read what was blacked out on that tube chart inside the uh, cabinet over there. But here we are. This information appears to be correct here on the schematic, which is lovely and intact and wonderfully aged. Um, let's see here. We see it's number J12, model number. The serial number is missing on the back door, but it's inside the uh, on the tube chart. And then we see here we have the correct tube location. For all the tubes. And if we look here, it's the first half of the first uh, 6SL7, your first preamp tube, and then go straight to the volume and tone stage. Okay. You have your tremolo stage here, which comes off of. A over here. A comes down. There's our tremolo circuit, which is the second half of that 6SO7 here. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm going to put it down a little bit. And then we have our power inversion stage. Or our phase inversion stage is what I meant to say. Um, and then our power tubes and push pull. Okay, sorry I got cut off there. My phone ran out of storage space. Surprise, surprise. Um, but anyway, so what I wanted to check out was this uh, tremolo circuit here. And you go down here and you can look at the uh, preamp and tremolo had expected. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. They have expected voltages there. This is a pretty nice schematic here. How much I would trust it, I don't know. But this is one of the best sounding tremolos that I've ever heard. I really like it. Um, it doesn't quite sound like a 12AX7 tremolo to my ear. Um, let's see what you think. Okay then, here we are. 
Sorry about the lack of a tripod. Here you have the jet fired up, tremolo on. It's just going straight into my AV box. And the one thing is that there is no speed control on this tripod, so it's just depth. Or I mean, or I mean it's only speed, no depth. on the video and here it is that's all I have time for really but uh thanks for watching and this guy behind me this EMC B300 or whatever is not what it seems we'll have to do a run through of this but this I picked up for $80 it's got a 50 inch closed back speaker and it was originally a solid state amp anyway so Sorry about that, my phone keeps dying. We're riddled with technical difficulties, <laughs> bad lighting. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's for another day. We'll check out that EMC. <laughs> Later.